What's going on guys? All right, so today I'm gonna to wrap the roof on the Jeep Trackhawk. Now I'm gonna do this by myself. It's a pretty large roof. I removed the shark fin antenna and the roof rails. Probably the easiest parts of this whole car to actually take off. Now before I wrap the roof, I wanna show you a couple of imperfections that I noticed along the way. Not that anyone's ever gonna get on their roof, but you never know, someone might actually see it. And I want to obviously document these kinds of things because they're not imperfections due to uh, damage that I've caused to the vehicle and if it does show through the wrap I don't want the customer to be like hey why does it show through the wrap so let's have a look at it uh, a couple of things I noticed so first of all I've wiped the surface down prepped isopropyl alcohol all the way through now we can look right here and we can see and you can see one over there right here and then you can see another one over here then you get the light on it Hopefully, maybe the camera will focus, maybe it won't. Nah, it's right there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And on top of that, it's literally all chewed up along the edge here. You can kind of see how it's very inconsistent looking. Let the camera focus, there we go. So you can see how it's very inconsistent looking. The, the edge is all damaged and just the paint looks like it's flaking already. Same with here. I'm not sure, like it's really rough feeling. So anyways, that stuff would show through. I'm not sure if that will lift the paint uh, when you go to remove the wrap, there's always a potential for that. But either way, uh, we're gonna wrap it. Just document these things. I always take pictures on my, on my camera, my other camera, on my phone usually. And that way I have everything recorded. So I'm gonna get you guys zoomed in a bit. I have the camera situated a bit higher up here. All right, let's turn it slightly, and we're gonna go for it, all right? So I'm gonna use the compressor just once again. Got some water in it. Still has some water in it. So I'm gonna have to wipe that off. That's what happens when you don't drain your compressor overnight. won't go up so nothing is working with me right now all right I'm just gonna put this down there we go all right so let me give it a wipe off again just get the water off don't want any water on the roof obviously the water will dilute the adhesion, adhesive. Cool. It was just mainly in this area. Otherwise, we're just blowing dust away. So, let's get this bad boy situated on top. I gotta get a couple of magnets. We're gonna need one on each side. So you see that I have, uh, well, not that you can see it, but you can see that I jump up on a sort, sort of a step ladder. Obviously makes life a lot easier. I have one on each side. And we're almost ready to rock. All right. That's the front. I'm gonna anchor down that side. I'm gonna go to the other side, anchor that down. So we do have a uh, bumps in the roof, natural, they're natural. They are on most SUVs. So we're just gonna actually blast the film over that and wrap right over them and squeegee around them. That's how you do it. What you need to do is you need to kind of glass the film out over top though. It's a very important part of it. There we go, let's let the tension go. Since my uh, step ladder is only about three feet wide, or long, I actually use the back wheel to stand on top of the rubber on the back wheel. All right, we're good, we're full, fully covered, guys. So, first things first, protective cap. Let's get that off. And like, poof, it becomes a lot nicer looking. It's good exercise, it's like the Stairmaster. 
my wife's been telling me my glutes have been looking uh, mighty firm. It's probably from all this uh, up and down stuff. Oh, magnets dropped off the back. Let's get those. All right, now let's get that garbage out of the way. So I'm just gonna anchor down back here a bit and we're gonna start removing the backing. So this is gonna be fun because it's such a large piece to glass out by yourself. That's, that's the challenging part, all right? Is getting this smooth by yourself and reaching it, obviously. I should take my watch off, I should be doing that. I'm gonna be getting under there pretty good. Just gotta get it rolling. Always trying to keep it smooth, right guys? What do I say about roll with the backing paper? We always want to roll it off, all right? It's very important. So I've got to go to the other side because I got a magnet stuck in my way on the on the side of the pillar. Right here. Stand on top of the rubber on the back wheel. Get myself a bit behind the film. So it's getting a little bunched up on the other side. Let's move over. This is where you take your time, all right? It's not a race to remove the backing paper. So I'm gonna stand on the rubber right now. So it looks like a disaster up here, obviously, but no creases, which is important. So I don't have to go in there and try and reach under five feet of vinyl just to get a crease out. Perfect, we'll let that backing paper drop. All right, so goal, blast it out. It's one angle. Start usually start glassing out the back because it's the most flat. The front I might need to add a bit of heat. When you're doing this, you got to be careful, right? Because as we're pulling on the film, if the film gives in any way, we're gonna fall right off the car. So it looks excellent back here. Excelente. All right. So just to help lock things in, I'm gonna squeeze it out a bit. Perfect. I'm gonna start working the film this way. So I'm basically glassed out from here back. It's about halfway. Now I might need to move my step ladder. I think I'm going to position myself behind or in front of the wrap, whatever you want to call it. So nice, guys. It's so nice that I don't have to use heat because it would be much harder if I had to use heat or if the film was more rigid. So if I had to use heat, that would mean the film was more rigid and it wouldn't, doesn't stretch as nicely. But this is actually golden. No heat guns involved. All right, so that's that. Probably should have put a magnet on that corner. We're gonna hope for the best that I don't lift it off right now. 
Let's position the ladder a little bit more back here. Just trying to get it up and over. There we go. Got a little wrinkle there. Good, it's gone. All right. So check out these these fingers running this way. I'm just trying to lift it so I can have my wrinkles running across, obviously, right? I gotta watch that guy right there. So let's uh, try and get it right now. There we go. Oh, this is beautiful. glassed out. Glassed out means that we have this vinyl as flat as possible. All right, as flat as possible is the only way. All right, I'm gonna get some shield guard. I right, make sure I have a glove on me. I do have a glove on me also, very important. The shield guard I put down right here. This is gonna make life easier. So I'm gonna go and work the film back from the front to the back. It's gonna be easier because I can access the air, the gaps over in the back a little bit easier. So when it comes to getting the air out, it's just gonna be easier to go that side. There, I'll just fix it up after. Firm, even pressure. What's nice is that I don't have to um, tuck in anywhere in the back, really. There's no seal back there. So that's kind of cool. Just lift that up, make things just a little bit nicer. And let's get this little wrinkle right there. There we go. All right, so this side's coming along. Let's bounce over to the other side. Keep everything symmetrical, right? Very important. Symmetry is very important. All right. So, just trying to find a spot to put my shield guard bottle. See, even though the vinyl's been sitting here a while, it's not locking in air that, that much. And the air that it is locking in, it's letting me squeeze you over these monster air bubbles. So, so the shield guard will actually help with squeezing over large air bubbles. Again, I will post a link to the products I use in the description below. This way you can go shopping. All right, so what we're gonna do now is start laying into these little crevices here, okay? Very important. have much of a choice but to stretch into these you'll want you'll want to heat afterwards so you want to post heat afterwards is what I mean Oh, it 
is warm today, guys. I'm not even really working hard yet, and I'm sweating. we get a bubble, we poke it. And let me just repeat that again. If we get a bubble, we just poke it with our air release tool and heat it. It's gonna to be too hard if we get bubbles to peel the vinyl back at this point. So we have to deal with them as they are. I'm gonna have to move over to the other side in a second. Obviously, they don't really, they don't really fit with the flow of things. So I'm gonna keep my ladder moving down here. I got a little mount monster air bubble here, so I'm gonna see if I can deal with these right now. If not, I'll bring them out to the side here. That seems to be fine. Oh, this air release is amazing. Can't even believe I just squeegeed over these huge bubbles. So we're gonna start doing the same thing for the back. Just scoping out the seam before I head over there. The other side. This thing's already almost done, so I'll probably give it like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. See if it's important. Nope, no idea who that is. All right, so I got a wrinkle because I got distracted there. Now I have to heat it now, which is not that fun to have to do with it being such a large piece of vinyl. And it's like right there, which kind of sucks. So what I want to do is lift the film. That's 
so that works. Wasn't that bad. Delivery? Perfect. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Let's have that one for you. All right. Thank you. No problem. Thanks, night. you too. Got some satin white that just showed up. 3M satin white. For a rewrap of a Mercedes ML 350, I think it's called. It's 350. Uh, that was wrapped by the same company that did the Lancer. What's up, buddy? So same company that did the Lancer. I'm just talking to the camera, it's okay. You won't be in the video, don't worry, it's too high up. Yeah, so the same, the same, uh, you're gonna put the bumper on after? Are you putting the bumper on after? Okay, cool. Just gonna put the bumper back on, mechanics here. So yes, yeah, so so for that the Mercedes ML 350, I think it's called, um, or 360, one of the two. Uh, the car, the company that wrapped the Lancer, had wrapped this car, and this guy is this guy's wrap is literally horrible. It's done in it's done in 3M, um, but that, regardless of the material, the, the wrap itself, the job was done horribly. So. I'm gonna do a wicked little uh, video on that because everyone's like, oh my God, the Lancer was failing because it was vivid or whatever, but same shop, different car, and a very reputable little brand of film will show you that it's definitely not vivid's material, but the uh, installer themselves. So. so I gotta lift from the back here. We got a lot of air trapped in here because I forgot I squeegeed it down to lock it in. Perfect. Oh, that is the Rolls Royce. Sorry, guys, I'll cover the mic for a second. That was the uh, Rolls Royce. I'm wrapping the wheels on it after. After I'm done finished with this car. I guess I could do a video on wrapping the wheels since some of you might have just asked right now. side now and then we're trimming and we're done.
So that, Mer that Mercedes is not coming in until uh, first week of July, I think. Second. I'm gonna pop this side up a little bit too. There we go. I actually don't even need any heat if I hold it up like this, which is nice. easier. Perfect. I got the bumpers done uh, the other day. Just gonna make sure the camera's still going. All right, let's start it over again. All right, just had to restart the camera because we're at 29 minutes there. I was about to time out. Yeah, so I'm glad I got the bumpers done because it is hot today. last little bit this track here
So this one doesn't want to lay lay into that recess as much as I'd like it to. So we're gonna we're gonna lay it in ourselves. We're gonna make it stay. There's no choice now because it's not even stretched. side. After this, I have the uh, two door handles, two mirrors, and two fender flares, and we're done. Perfect, let's go to the other side. I don't even need the heat gun, because we're laying in. You guys can kind of see what I'm doing. why I didn't do the center pieces like this by laying in. It's just simply because I can't reach. So I don't even think if you had help that it would make much of a difference. So we just squeeze you over them.
gets there. All right. Cutting time. Cut out the sharp antenna. Slot. For? It's usually it's usually over there, I think, or hey, maybe in this drawer down here. Here, I'm going to start touching. Very easy seal to tuck under this one. Very, very easy. Second. Yeah, it uh, should be fine. I don't think it goes that high.
Can't open the door. Here, I can peel this off now, anyways. Okay. You got it. What's that? Yeah, for the vinyl. Yeah. Oh, it does go pretty high. <laughs> it does go pretty high. It does go high. It's maybe we can put it. Will it stay? Will it stay about here? Okay. Will it stay just for just for like uh, five more minutes? I need it. All right. Yes, it'll stay there for about five minutes. I'm almost done. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry guys, he's just trying to put the front bumper on, but I'm almost done here, so. This thing is actually done, so I just gotta go over the edges with heat. But I'll show you guys, uh, show you guys what's up in a minute. up here. Alright, other side. You can rest right now, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Alright, this is finished here. So I'm gonna just camera up. I was videotaping the roof wrap. Uh, teaching people how to do yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I put it on YouTube, yeah. All right guys, so this is what the roof looks like. I gotta clean up the uh, shield guard, obviously. It's a little smeared looking. You can check it all out though. Oh, I got one bubble there, I saw it. 
for those of you guys with the eagle eyes. All right. That's it, everything's tucked in. Once I put the trim back on it, it'll be tucked away really nicely. And that's it, so obviously a little bit more challenging to do that on your own, it's a large roof. Uh, new material too, a little bit thicker, but all again, it stretches pretty nicely. Anyways guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more videos, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Next week I have a Lexus uh, IS350, I think, coming in in rose gold chrome. Anyways guys, thank you for watching, take care.